Hey guys, following my last video on fixing the stuttering issue with the Ryzen 7950X3D, particularly in Metro Exodus, I am back with a supportive video, and in this one, I'll be testing various configurations, such as using only the CCD0 with 3DV cache tech, and comparing different options of collaborative processor, performance control, or CBBC for short. You won't have to try this for yourself, as I've got you all covered. All those tests will be done in 10 ATP to be CPU bound. I hope this video helps you better understand this unique CPU. First up, let's compare the performance when switching CCD0 and CCD1, as well as toggling SMT off and on. Check it out. As you can see, there is a significant stuttering across all setups. That's because in this round, I haven't applied the fix from the last video. In a later comparison, I'll show you the same configurations with the stutter fix applied. We are seeing some interesting results here. The best performance appears to be when using only CCD0 with a 3DV cache tech. You will notice it has the best FPS average, lower power consumption, highest GPU utilization. Later on, you will see how this improves even further once we apply the stutter fix. Also to note, the worst performing configuration seems to be when using only CCD1 on its own, so I'd recommend never using this CPU without the 3DV cache CCD functional. Let's run the same comparison but with a stutter fix applied using process lasso and part control. You can check how I did it in the suggested video above. As you can see, there is no stuttering anymore in all configurations, so that clearly fixed the issue. The configuration with CCD0 still has the lead.
when using most CCDs, it's not performing nearly as well, which makes me question how the CPU is managing frequency switching. I think it's supposed to lock the frequency at 5250 megahertz while running the game, but instead it's fluctuating between 5250 and 5550 megahertz. This gives me the impression that the CPU is not able to deliver big gaming performance due to these fluctuations. You can pause the video to see the difference for yourself. Finally, let's test different CBBC options between Auto, Frequency, Cache, and Driver. All comparisons are done with the starter fix applied. So, we see the lowest performance is with the CBBC set to frequency. Further supporting my statement from before, avoid using CCD1 alone or setting CBBC to frequency. The issue seems to lie in having CCD1 trying to take over some time, which will reduce the performance of the CCD0 with 3TV cache. For example, on the Ryzen 5950X, I always have the frequency locked to 5500 MHz as you saw in my previous benchmarks.
So that's the end of this video. I hope it provided some valuable insights about the Ryzen 7950X3D. While I enjoy using this CPU, I think it needs further optimization from AMD to live up to its promise as the best gaming working CPU. It should at least match the 7080X3D in gaming since they have the same tech. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to support me in creating more content and feel free to share your thoughts or feedback in the comments down below. You can also join the discussion even further on the Take a Soul Discord server. See you in the next video.